All right, so when you do this, you got to make sure that you're putting your steps underneath your second level because you can't have your steps going up to the green roof, all right? It was negative 45 degrees the other day. You can't just have your steps going up outside. Remember when you have, um, you do this, oh, geez. When we look at our calculations, you got to make them four feet wide. This is from your sheet. You have to do that. And the thing that's annoying when you go to make your steps, let's go to level one. And, oh, geez, I kind of spoiled the, the excitement there. We go to stair right here. It's going to default. Yours is going to open up like this. It's going to be three feet is the default. So if you do nothing, you're going to do it wrong, and it's going to be hard to fix. So we're going to set it to four feet. Right now, it's set up right where it starts at the base level one, level one, second floor structure. Let's check that. No. There we go. Because we want it to go just slightly, or we're supposed to go to level two. Ooh. Ooh. Let's set it to level two. We can always fix it. So let's do stairs again. Level two. Apply. So now we have another step. That kind of throws a wrench in my plans. But that's all right. So let's just do a, a straight stair. Look at how it draws off the center. I click. Down here, it's telling me how many steps I need to make. All right? It calculated that I need 35 steps, and it has that rise that's close to 7. All right? If we want to change this because 35 is a nasty number to work with, I could change it to 34. Okay? And now it's it's a little above seven. That's okay. Seven and three quarters is our code. So I'm going to keep it at 34 because you'll see why in a minute. I'm a man of symmetry. And when we start, all I do is I'm physically creating the steps. I'm not done until I've made all of them. So if I stop here, I've only created 28. So I go all the way. Green check it. And then let's throw a camera view in there. And you can see why these would be like death stairs. Because there's just, you know, you need a you need a break. Like, look at that. Yeah, an escalator. No, let's get one of those. Let's get someone to carry you. Alright, so, no, not a choice. You could do a variation of this and maybe do a landing. You want to see what that would look like? Alright, so stairs. So I do stairs, I go up. Let's say 10 is about as much as Agnes wants to go. Then I just go a little bit further. You got to have at least a four foot landing. So boom. 10 again. Another landing. And I should have done a little bit more, but I blame you. So here, let's throw a 3D view in there. I'm going to look this way. So, all right. So you could do that. Uh, the synagogue over at on uh, Dodge has something like this, right? Across from the Levy Center. Uh, J what is it, JDL? I don't know. JRC, there we go. They have stairs that are very wide. And they we actually went there. Their, their rise is very small. So the steps don't feel like you're climbing a mountain when you do them. They have landings. But that's not my cup of tea. All right, my cup of tea would be like a U set of stairs. All right, so stair... And for this one, I like switching my run to the left. And so when I do it, all right, I would have to do 17 because that's half of 34, right? And then I go over here and see how. So that's decent. Now, if you wanted to get this perfect, you want to see it? All right, here's a little tip for you kids. Here's a little Easter egg. So here, if I click on the railing, I can change it to, I got glass panel. I got uh, pipes for you skater dudes. All right, so you could you could change them all up, all right? So that's, that's a good stairwell for your emergency stairs just because uh, it gives kind of that break point. It's still a pretty, a pretty tall order to go up 17 steps for... Uh, older people and younger people if you wanted to get this perfect right um, let's do this let's make a landing 
So I'm going to just go to my model line. I'm going to make a landing. My landing's four feet. And so my landing would have to be eight. I'm going to do eight, six, because that's going to give me enough room for my railings to kind of curl. And then you could throw stuff down the middle at people walking up. Like American Psycho style. With a chainsaw. All right, so now I have my landing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and make a line four feet. And I use this little tool. I click it, offset. My tread is 11 inches. You can see I did this. So I, would have, I already have one step done, right? Because that would be a step to get up to that landing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, so now when I start this, stairs, run on my left, width four, cross my fingers. I go up. It just gives me some points to click onto, and then bam. Now it's like it's pretty, it's pretty nice. It's pretty compact. And what I would do with this is I would have this in an area on an exterior wall, so you have your stairs there, and... You can always make like a bump out of your library, right? If you're like, well, my space is tight already, Mr. Tosh. Well, make a little bump out, right? A little rectangle that comes off here. And you got to make sure that you put your partition wall in there for your fire rating an hour or so. All right. There. I'm going to go. I'm going to just go to this column because that's going to give me enough room to put a fire door it would go out and an exit you get a fancy exit all right i know i'm using a single flush out now the thing i forgot to do is i need to set this to go all the way up to my next level because it needs to be a completely enclosed to be fire rated so i don't know let, uh, structure it didn't yell at me so that's good all right and then when i go to my second floor now It's right there. So if I click on this, I don't need to click on it. What am I talking about? We just go to vertical opening. I click on the floor. I always like to go to 2D view of my top because it's just easier. And then I'm going to make a shape. And I'm going to go over here to my wall. And you could have it looking down on just this part. But you kind of lose the usable space over here. Because you know the whole stairs is right here, right? So if I wanted to just do this. Well, I'm going to do this for demonstration's sake. Green check. So it's open. And, of course, I would need to put in that wall around it. So level two. Uh, all right. I want to see where my other wall is. Just for me to know. So let's go to my underlay. Where are you, underlay? So there's a wall. So now I could kind of be consistent. Uh, well, technically it would cut through the floor. I mean, I guess it wouldn't really matter. No one would really know, right? Except for me. So uh, I should have set the height again. Durr. All right. You guys could play around with that. So, same thing. It would have a door going out. It's not going to have a door going out here. Are you trying to kill people? Yeah. <laughs> and if I look at this, all right, I kind of I kind of lucked out with this beam. What happens right here if some kids are playing truth or dare? I dare you to walk across this beam. What is that? Up? The movie Up where he does that? Well, it worked out for him. It is a good movie. All right, so here, we need to put a railing right here. So in the architecture tab, if I go to the railing, all right, it's right here. Railing, all right, let's just put one right here to the start. Green check. Oh, you guys, all right, let's go back to that 3D view. Bam, that's safer, right? And, all right, so let's do a fancy staircase. Now. If I wanted to have, like, let's say my entrance is right here. And I want to have this grand vestibule walk in, all right? So I'm going to have my stairs kind of in this middle part. You guys can do whatever the hell you want. 
So I'm gonna do stairs, but I'm gonna make um I'm gonna make no I don't wanna do that demo right now. Uh so let's do this. Let's just make uh I'll make a big landing for you kids. Four Give me a number. What are we going all the way? No, that's gonna go in my column. What are you guys thinking? Uh I'm gonna just go right here. Oh that's alright. It doesn't matter. We'll pretend like we didn't do that. And now, once again, let's make our step. If you wanted to make your step five feet for this, you would have to make your landing five feet. But since I already made it four, that's that's the bed we're sleeping in. And four here. Oh, jeez. No. Oh. Whew. Thought I lost it for a second. Four. All right, it's still there. So offset. So there's two steps. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight sounds cool. So let's take these. Let's highlight these. Copy. Let's select it. Put them over here. And then let's make a, our landing. Let's copy that. Select it using control. Copy. Bam. All right. I don't know what this is going to look like. I'm a little freaked out right now. I'm, so well, I'm going to offset this some more. All right. So I'm going to start right there. So let's do stair. Sometimes things work out. Let's see. I go up to here. I go all the way over to my landing now. All the way over. This is going to be nuts. I'm trying to think of where my right side is. All right. I was close. Two steps off. All right. Yeah, some railings overlap. I know, I know, I know. Let's go. Camera. <gasps> Move that bus! So this is similar to what the Evanston Library has. And then you can get like a nice little sculpture... They go in the middle, and so you could do something like that. Let's go up to level two again. All right, now we have this giant thing going on here, so we got to go to our vertical opening, click on the edge, and for easiness, I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to mimic the whole darn thing. Green, check it. 3D view. All right, so now, ah. Uh... Yeah, so I need to go to edit this boundary, and I would just, and I'm doing this 3D mode. You can see why you don't do things 3D mode. It just, it's not a good practice. Yeah, it looks cool until you realize that you're not actually touching the point that you want to. Is that funny? Yeah. Ah! Woo! So, well, yeah, so we put our railing around here. The library is a dangerous place. I don't know where I'm at at this thing. I'm like, it's like I'm in a trance right now looking at this. So just remember that your path or your railing, you can keep on going with this as long as it's a continuous path. I'm afraid. Ha! I don't know why I was. Just need to believe. Well, you have it going up. So I would have to bump this over. But you get the idea. You could play with it. I kind of lucked out. I kind of lucked out with my beams. Because I don't think any of my beams are like in my stairwell. Except right here. You'd have to, you'd have, to have a 6 foot 8 head height. So I'd mess around with that. Alright. A structural engineer would probably punch me in the face. If I told you you could. You could, you could delete these ones. Don't delete the end ones. Because those are the, uh, the main support girder ones. And so, if you have any that are in the way, stay away from the ones that go from column to column. So I could delete these if I unpin them. You just have to have a 6, 8 head height. Like, this is going to decapitate someone. So, I could take and delete these. Alright, we won't tell anyone that we're deleting structural beams. This is all real, right? Alright, so there are your stairs.